I can't believe it's not an internet outage. Amazing. Wow, that actually hooked really fast. That's cool. Yeah, as it turns out, I had hook rate set to highest for uh, the horizontal game capture, but not the vertical game capture. Because my scene collection is starting to look like my code, which is <laughs> not good if you've seen my code. Did you get your paws bend? I did. It was amazing. Thank you. All right, turn that MF shit up. I installed this a billion years ago, but the POV was broken and rotated in the wrong direction, and I didn't understand how to fix it until like yesterday. Good start to the day. Very normal. I also grabbed Jackbot while I was out here. Because fucking Bride of Pimbot and Pimbot both get talked about a lot, and I've never played either of them. And apparently Jackbot is the Pinbot playfield, but with fucked up rules that are like giant, gigantic smooth brain gambling meme shit. And uh, as the local whodunit enjoyer, you should know that I'm a big fan of- Yo, those- those pops are fucking juiced! What?! Cocaine bumpers. Okay. Very nice. I don't know where anything goes. I know that I hit the fucking space shuttle shot to make things happen. That's about it. Get jackpot or don't. Jackpot is right up in my black label. Pretty much. Yeah, it's like the small scoring oversights or like the little mechanical weirdnesses. Here's the most over-engineered ball lock mechanism in the world. Okay, so I can easily transfer like that. Can I transfer here? Ooh, that's a little, that's a little spicy. That's pretty quick. Oh yeah, I also fucking installed uh, Bali Dungeons and Dragons today. And I think that table's kind of neat, but it has an interesting audio problem that I might show off later. Because I saw it on a fucking dead flip stream and I'm like, wait a minute, this music goes hard. And then I installed it and VPN Mame has no fucking clue what to do with the samples. <laughs> Alright, get in there. Excellent. Hey, and to you. Oh, that was savable. Dumb. And now her fucking eyes are gonna fall out. Goodbye. Interesting match animation. I lied, it wasn't that interesting. So we have the world's most juiced pop bumpers, the world's most over-engineered ball lock mechanism, uh, flipper noises that are really satisfying. Can you guys hear that? That just makes me happy. Except since I'm trying to figure out what this game's theme is supposed to be. I wonder what the advertising flyers would tell you this game's theme is supposed to be. The 
famous build a giantess robot. Message received. I kind of love the sound design on this table, though. Big scary fucking FM stab chords. <laughs> Like, that's cool, right? Okay, so I gotta get that less speed, or it sails right over the pins and into the fucking pop bumpers. Not that those seem to score badly or anything. I don't know if I necessarily bomb it up the fucking ramp forever, but, uh... Ah! I thought that was fine. See if I can actually start the fucking multi ball. You fucking behave. That's a weak enough shot to get in there. Weak skill shot. Okay, that bumper's not gonna fucking screw me too badly. Scary post transfer. Try again. Nice, that actually worked. The vibrato kills me. Alright, so I don't actually know what to shoot for right now. So I guess I just shoot everything. Center light says, uh, yeah, double playfield scoring. So maybe I just bomb it into the fucking jets a bunch. Ah, straight in the middle. Oh, 250,000 for uh, shots up there, huh? Interesting. Maybe that's my target, just fucking straight up the space shuttle. Okay, relock the balls. Got it. Yeah. The table's doing something, I guess. Nice forgiving replay score. I should probably let it roll over to shoot the uh, fucking locks there. Oh! Oh, I could have fucking... When did I get extra ball lit? I could have fucking lane changed that and saved the game. Alright. More things to learn. Go next. Too much. Oh, okay. We're just gonna dump that back into the shooter lane. You got it. One, two, three. I'll take 100k. Alright, it looks like there's something it can hit even at high speed that'll direct it down. Launch shuttle. Alright, so it's got a call out for uh, when that shot's enabled. I probably should have just taken that on the fly. Let's try it. Uh, not quite like that. Scary. Stop. Stop! Surprised it didn't fucking go off the sling there. Oh, yeah, the 5k uh, targets. On the left and right of the lower playfield. What the fuck are those all about? Okay, we're just not gonna post transfer on Brighter Pinbot, I guess. Hit. Okay. Alright, that'll work. 
with the flyer and credit feeding. I'll have to give that. Oh shit, it wasn't the shooter lane. I could have just gone and looked. <laughs> Half Life 2 Bride of Pinbot. Alright, so. The small wheels on the very leftmost shot. Power charge during multi ball, it says. Okay, seriously, post transfers are not safe. I think I just. Maybe to get on the right flipper, I just uh, shoot the uh, center ramp. Wow. Hey, scary. It's a tight shot, though. What the fuck? What are we doing? Into the bumpers we go! The red lights make the serotonin go up. The evaluation is like, number one, is it fun to just shoot the ball around? And number two, are the rules interesting? And do they make sense? <laughs> and right now, things are working out in terms of like, is it fun to randomly blast the ball around? I dig the loop combos. I wonder if there's a reward of a certain number of loops. Get up there! You really need a clean shot. It's a long ramp. Maybe I need to take that shot a little bit earlier. Trying to gauge it from a cradle versus when it's rolling through the end lane is a little tricky. Alright. We got one lock after 10,000 years. So it's gonna serve me that in the shooter lane. And I can go take a look at this fucking print ad. <laughs> nice accent, it's crazy. Watch her turn heads. She's a woman of the 90s. Clever, imaginative, playful, really put together. Turn the machine on and you'll marvel at all her fabulous features. Oh man. This fucking owns. Wait a minute. Mini playfield? Is there supposed to be a fucking flipper up there on the pin? <laughs> what? Does that count? What are we fucking doing? The machine has a body for long-term business, guar guaranteeing the highest resale in the industry and a honeymoon that will never end. Yeah, alright. <laughs> you got it. Nice, you're on the fly that time. God, those fucking chords are so good. Alright, so let's see. Getting these under control is maybe impossible for me, just not a part of my skill set right now. But I'll do my best. That has been in the fucking pops for a minute. Aw, oh, you fucking bastard. Alright, yeah, go ahead and warn me. Seems safe to bounce past like that. Alright, successfully shot the wheel for kind of nothing. So, one billion points on that uh, center ramp sometimes, huh? That seems like an interesting rules decision. Go for the wall! So I didn't know that roller games was like a thing. 
And now that I know that, that table makes a little bit more sense to me, but not a lot. Also, I guess sudden death really is- oh. I guess sudden death really is random. Sorry, I had to appreciate that for a bit. You fucking behave. I've started nudging more often IRL, and I feel good about it because it saves my balls sometimes, but I feel like I kill myself more often than I save myself with it. Aw, oh, you fucking bastard. I barely touched it. Give me my fucking bonus. <laughs> Gotta give it the incredibly sophisticated wiggle technique. Alright, so there were some pretty high value shots up the uh, space shuttle. I do not want those both rocketing back at me at the same shot. Thanks very much. Alright, and we're dead. <laughs> Dude, multi ball without ball saver is cruel. I've become spoiled. Hmm. I wonder if loops advance those lights. <laughs> yeah, so it lights 500k for a bit, and then it fizzles out. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering how you spin Big Wheel. Fucking behave! There's a secret requirement to force the billion to be rolled. Interesting. That's a dangerous fucking spot, dude. All right. Now officially fucking online. I want to figure out what the hell's going on with this thing. I bet this is fucking fast flips, and that's why the flippers are allowed to go off right now. <laughs> Landing on billion from the wheel lights the shot. Billion is collected on the heartbeat loop. Okay. Yeah, the insert for the uh, big wheel light is lights 1 billion. And then on the progressive lights for the uh, loop, it's 1 billion when lit. Alright. Let's see it. cheating and looking up the rule sheet. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna need the help. That left outline has a fucking magnet in it, I swear. It's got a fucking vacuum. 25k for the very top, huh? Oh, fuck, that was my fault. That was just fucking idiot flip. Alright, so... Not a particularly auspicious ball three. Yeah? Alright, where's the jackpot? Oh, it must be at the uh, fucking shuttle. Dude! Yeah, because we have the fucking, uh, fucking marching lights on uh, the fucking lock. Small wheel lock, left side of the shuttle. Yeah, okay. Alright, run it back! I outland drained like three times in ten seconds. wonder how lucrative wheel rewards are. What is... On small wheel is 250k, extra ball... 
Lights, extra ball, 50k, 100k, and jackpot. Seems like it might be a crazy return if you miss, though. Okay, confirmation bias engaged. Small wheel is good to shoot. I wonder if you can stack extras. Alright, getting good value on that extra ball, a whole fucking 300k points. Doing great. Yahoo! Yeah, the one more time insert is pretty good. Pimbot is just up there chilling. Oh, oh okay. Don't miss shots, stupid. Message received. Chills out in there for a while, huh? I wonder if there's a way I can actually catch it from that transfer. Because doing the shot on the fly seems a little dodgy. Okay, one more time. There will be no post transferring in this game. I can't resist. Bang. Straight down the middle, hit your shots. Okay. What did we learn from that game? You get punched in the dick whenever anything happens. Cool. Run it back. I think no matter how badly a machine kicks me in the dick for missing shots, I've had my experience with Gorgar. So nothing is ever gonna be rougher than that. Supposedly the meta way to score big on the table is actually with more ball locks completely and do loops. I had my suspicions about that uh, progressive light. But it seems difficult, like, it seems trickier to take the loop shot from the right flipper, which is what it feeds. So I wasn't sure if just straight up looping loops. Nice! gonna be super lucrative. Let's try to take the shot. Alright, narrow. All roads lead to this fucking pops, dude. All good? There's no way that mechanism doesn't fucking break horribly, right? Uh-oh, that's why it's scary to shoot loops, isn't it? Because it has all the time in the world to fucking straighten out if the ramp rejects. <laughs> Sends it ne very nearly straight down the middle. Oh, 
Either shot works, huh? Fucking everything on the table works? Actually, where does bonus come from now that I think about it? Because a lot of these older games really want you to stack bonus. Dang it. The billion point shot doesn't actually give you a billion, it just flags your score so it puts you in a different high score table. If you hit 51 loops and then get the heartbeat loop combo, you get a billion legit and still score in the regular table. Ah, okay, so it's total loop count and then hit the combo to cash in. Yeah, a billion points? Who would ever fucking... What a ridiculous number. Anyway. Let me introduce you to Tatsunoko vs. Capcom. Alright. Ooh, that shot is totally makeable at speed. Loop equals million. Unlimited million when lit, huh? Alright. Alright, well, I like stupid combo shots. <sighs> but I regret to inform you that my ball appears to be magnetically attracted to the pop bumpers. How's it going up there, Pinbot? <laughs> it's just such an easy shot to hit. It's like overwhelmingly the widest shot on the playfield. I wonder if they behave like that on, uh, physical. Because those seem absolutely fucked. One thing that I learned fairly recently is that a lot of software will keep track of how many times the switches in, like, bumpers get hit per shot to that area, and will adjust, like, required stuff on the table depending on how strong or weak it thinks the bumpers are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's back in there! <laughs> It's not like it doesn't score anything, but... Yeah! It's the slings at the bottom that get me. Like, the ball can lose all energy and then fucking randomly ricochet right back in. Huh. Huge. Wow. Nice. Only 40 more. <laughs> no big deal, I'll just play for 10 hours. And back up we go! Wow, it actually fell out without triggering anything. <laughs> that is fucked. If I can consistently make that shot from the right flipper, that's the fucking money train, huh? Well, it really wanted me to know I made a combo there. Oh, 
Come on. Damn it. I mean, I'll take the multi-ball, though. Alright, I'm starting to understand. Wow, is that still lit? Nah, not anymore. Uh-oh. Wait, hold on. Loops and multi-ball. <laughs> Fucking uh-oh. I mean, getting one ball into the pop seems like a good way to get it out of my fucking hair. I shouldn't have touched that. Wow. That's insane, the fucking distance that one got. Oh. Bonus is just, like, 10,000 per loop, huh? That's pretty big. <laughs> All right. The crazy thing is that shooting two balls into the fucking pops probably reduces the total number of switch hits you get from that area. Weak skill shot. Nice! Huge! Alright. What a good fucking sound. Uh, new GC. Fuck it, two credits. Actually, so fucking good. I don't worry too much about soft plunge skill shot shots in general because I just don't like dealing with digital plunge or soft plunge stuff. We good up there? But like when it's right there and it's so easy, or it looks so easy. We made it in. Okay. Get extra ball. All right, now where's extra? Must be the gigantic shithead purple lights. Oh, another rainbow. Alright, I'll try. Oh no, I'm stupid! We answered this last time, it's the fucking lights in the, uh, in lanes and out lanes. And it's lane changeable, so you have no fucking excuse not to miss it. Alright, so, hear me out, right? My scoring strategy is to shoot the ball. I know it's never been tried before, but I think it could work. <laughs> okay. I should just fucking give it a push there. Like, just nudge up. See if I can get it off the fucking upper post. Great extra, guys. 
Really stellar fucking work. Oh yeah, I don't know how many of y'all saw that post earlier, but uh... We went to go fucking play Black Knight yesterday, and somehow someone had managed to snap off one of the fucking balls that makes up the spinning flail, and it rolls down the out lane and into the ball trough, and the fucking table is so confused about there being an extra ball in the ball trough <laughs> that it's now just serving two balls every single time and then killing your fucking uh, ball whenever you drain one. So we're playing this fucking thing on extra hard mode, not understanding what's going wrong, and then we watch it serve the fucking flail ball with, like, the piece that attaches it to the spring still on the ball, <laughs> and it's just fucking clonking around <laughs> like a fucking plane with one wing. And I'm like, dude, we swiped four times on this. Let's just get an attendant before it gets any worse. And the guy comes over, takes one look at it, and it's and he's like, all right, no, nope, it's going offline. <laughs> Where do you guys want your credits? So that's how I discovered that I kind of like Iron Maiden. Always going up there, it's just the easiest shot in the world. It's a shame though, because Iron Maiden's uh, upper left flipper was out. Well, it wasn't completely out, it was just super sticky and took forever to return and really weak. Which is, like, almost worse than it not working. Alright, so hear me out, right? What if I just get you really good at nudging so that the ball never leaves the pops? Then I can score infinitely, right? Alright. We're going to the loop. Oh, fuck. Alright, now some shit's occurring, I don't know. Ah! Every single time I end up with both balls in the same flipper, something bad happens to me. I am not a cradle separation mastermind. Ooh, does that suck if you miss it shallow. Go next? Am I actually out of credits? Nope. Just didn't feel like responding. I was looking up, uh, fucking used pinball in, uh, AZ. There's a guy on pin side selling a fucking Jurassic Park limited edition for $17,000. And that's when I realized that my relationship with this hobby is gonna remain at locations and on my PC. That's just not something that could ever happen. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> I got so distracted by the fucking lightning effect. <laughs> As a wise man once said, Estoy Lupin. DIY table. 
I mean, it can be done. I feel like the tooling associated with it is pretty expensive if you want to do it anything approaching right, though. There's a part of me that simply does not understand how that skill shot works. Sucks. Ah. All right. So nice. The meta is probably to take a bust ass table that has, like, everything on it broken, and then somehow have all of the required skills to restore it. That actually happened. Shush, go next. Thank you. How does it fucking sail through there every time? I kind of love tables with ramp reject noises. Plastic ones, they'd sell at Target. Oh, hell yes. Played a customs final tap table once. Wrinkles and playfield graphics called physics to go wacky. Even the tiniest detail can be a bastard. Yeah, I've read a couple, like, homebrew threads on Pinside because when I get into something, I just become a fucking lunatic, I guess. And. The people who are working on, like, the most polished-looking homebrew projects talk about, like, Oh, my wire form was off by 0.14 degrees, so the ramp never worked. <laughs> Not like it was shitty, but like it was completely broken. Alright, let's see this fucking image. <laughs> this is not what I expected out of this image. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm gonna let everybody else click on that and experience it at their own pace. This is totally a principal decision, and has nothing to do with the fact that the last time I tried to turn on display capture while I was on a pinball stream, I forgot to switch back and ended up streaming the last of my ball while, like, on an empty layout. I've heard some stuff about the arcade one-up virtual tables. Like, that's probably the most likely way forward for me, is, like, some type of fucking setup that uses one of my exist- one of our existing PCs, because fuck buying a 3070 just to put it in a fucking cabinet that's, like, idle most of the time, right? Then, you do the fucking solenoids, you do the basic cider stuff, Put in a fucking couple of arcade buttons. <laughs> Whatever the meta is for the embedded fucking accelerometer shit. And then the largest 4K 120 Hertz display you can buy without like selling your organs. pinball tables like a really big really flashy analog watch there's a uh, slow-mo guys video on uh, the internals of like what was it I think it was fucking JJP uh, Wonka and just like the speed at which some of that shit behaves is legitimately terrifying yeah. 
Like, there is that core uh, observation to be made that most modern pinball tables have fucking interlock switches to turn off the high voltage that will kill you when the coin door is open. Because they have high voltage and it will kill you. <laughs> Human influx, huh? Hey, demon. Hanging out. Okay, so you can relock during multi ball. Metamorphosis. <laughs> oh, hey there. <laughs> All right, the sequence is cool. Hi there. <laughs> cool. Launchpad lit spins the big wheel. Alright. But not during single ball play, sadly. Gotta keep the other one in play for that. So do I just get to uh, shoot for the locks directly here, or... I don't know what the fuck happens now. I guess there's a fucking reason this game kept showing up on people's top tens, huh? I can only imagine it being a bitch to maintain. Dude, I cannot fucking- I'm just bricking everything. My life was dull. Dude. <laughs> Dr. Dude is gonna give me fucking brain damage. I learned recently that if you get a bunch of switch hits in the Mix Master, it will actually spot you the uh, next objective. And I am never fucking shooting for Heart of Rock and Roll ever again. Oh, okay. So you gotta do it all in one shot. If you, like, lose the uh, multi ball after Metamorphosis, then uh, it's back to the start. That's pretty crazy. 2.7 mil bonus. Big. I played Bride 2.0 physically, I don't like it as much because it feels like it's trying too hard to add more modes. I do like simple code. As long as every shot has a purpose, as long as there are situations where you want to take all of them, I don't mind the simple rule sets. I think in a lot of cases, though, like, if you're making something for the home market, you wanna... Like, if you're a, if you're gonna be playing something at your house, like, hours and hours and hours at a time, then I can see the idea that you want it to have, like, a bunch of modes and really deep code and shit. I'm gonna give fucking Bride one more go, and then since Cal is here, I'm gonna fucking put on Dr. Dude for a bit. You better fucking believe it. I also want to get some time with Jackbot tonight, since I haven't gotten to play that yet, but we shall see. Get up there! Fuck. I did the POV, POVs for uh, Dude earlier and for uh, Bride myself. And I think they came out alright. There's a lot of considerations to be made regarding like perspective correction and shit. And like... I could honestly probably stand to adjust more POVs, because I feel like they're intended for cabinet viewing angles more often than not. But I just did a fucking 
dude and bride because they were outright broken and I wanted to play them. So there you go. Right down, right down the fucking middle. It's like, you hit that fucking left post in the center ramp, you are dead. Like... The machine stones you to death and buries you in the fucking dirt. <laughs> no, dude. I think that nudge sucked. I think that should have been a nudge up and to try and get it off the uh, top of the sling. Alright, Cal is exerting fucking psychic warfare to get me to drain as quickly as possible. To switch to dude. See now I see what now I want to see what happens when you complete locks in uh, metamorphosis. <laughs> so actually, where would a ball even lock during metamorphosis? Oh fucking bastard! I guess it just drains straight down and holds in the uh, fucking wire form. All right, I fucking died. Great work. So, without further ado, VPX is going to crash when I load this table. I can almost guarantee it. So thanks for playing, everyone! <laughs> Let me fucking start this thing up again. Dude, if we're gonna talk about fucking haptics, I may as well get a fucking 2DX base platform at this point. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Give me a second. I also learned that dude's uh, fucking displays are in a line. So... I guess I do it like this, and it should make some of the uh, fucking animations make more sense. I am okay. I also learned that dude, like, the dudeometer has memory across games and only resets when you uh, claim the jackpot at uh, Super Dude. There is apparently a uh, fucking contest game setting that disables that and makes it reset at the start of each game. But it has some other side effects as well, and I'm not really sure how it works, so I haven't touched that. Plus, I kind of like the location behavior. Yeah, those animations look better like that, I think. If you lose Super Dude, it goes back to Major Dude until you hit the jackpot. Yeah, okay. So from that, you can guess what happened the last time I got to Super Dude. Alright, it just spotted me Gab for no reason. We just executed a frame-perfect technique called Gab Skip, where I keep that out of my brain for another couple of minutes. I think I can post transfer on this game. Nice. And then... Okay, anything but what happens when I leave those fucking bumpers. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure this shit hits different physically. Virtual pinball is almost universally easier than uh, physical pinball. Oh. That just fell straight out of the pops instantly, huh? You got it. You gonna spot me something while I'm up there? 
I think I'm close to a uh, fucking white oh. spot here. So I'll try to do fucking gab at least before I shoot Mixmaster again. Yeah, the fucking multi ball has no mercy. If you go back to single ball play, it tells you to fuck off. Mystery is available as well, so maybe I shoot for Magnet here. Okay, well, Mystery's fine. I don't know whether it actually does this, but I know a lot of later uh, fucking Williams volley games with uh, Mystery Awards would try to give you a Mystery Award that, like, gets you immediately to a new mode. Fucking Medieval Madness is kind of famous for that. I can't hit anything. Alright. One more shot for Magnet. Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. One more shot for Gab. I can start reflex. Ah! Don't you fucking dare do that to me. Terrifying. My life was dry, life was drab. Till I acquired the gift of gab. Oh, it's the actual. Never be rude. Get the gift of gab from Dr. Dude. I got one shot at this, and we fucked it up. I got rocks somehow while doing that. You're a dark. I wonder if it'll just give me this if I fucking shoot the Mixmaster. Come on! I know the target's up there. You still get points for those shots when they're already, like, collected. It's just that they kind of don't matter. Alright, there we go. Hit Magnet. I should not have fucking bombed it in there. Now something terrible is going to happen to me. The mix master. Ah, wipes. A little early, cause it's not that early. Fucking bastard. <laughs> Happens like that. Yeah, that animation makes so much more sense when the DMDs are laid out like that. Well, those aren't DMDs, but you get the idea. Sailing slowly into the drain. Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. Oh, all right. Mixmaster score is weirdly okay when it's like completely unlit. Hey. I think I just need to be very afraid of taking on the fly shots. Pop bumper's scary. <laughs> My life was dull. My life was drab. Till I acquired the gift of gab. Oh! Oh. Hey, don't interrupt. Alright. <laughs> ah, you fucking bastard. I really appreciate how there are fucking 
jingles that are matched to whatever the current uh, background music is. Because once you complete a feature, it changes the music until you complete another feature, or until the table really fucking wants your attention. Oh, okay. So for the other stuff on the table to be themed after it, just really fucking nice. Watch him be amazed as I attempt to shoot the Mixmaster 1.8 gazillion times and never hit it. Yeah, like there, it used the fucking, uh... Art of Rock and Roll theme on the way out for bonus. Million! You shut up! I fucking looked at chat for one second. Fucking not my best performance. Hey. All right. Magnet is really tough, I swear. At least if you miss a gap wide, something fucking happens. <laughs> I actually don't know what lights mystery is still. Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. <laughs> I feel compelled to mimic it, I can't explain it. My life was gone! My life was grab! Till I acquired the gift of gab! Always be excellent! Never be rude! Never be rude! Dr. G! What? <laughs> Did you have a stroke? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to be searching for the rest of my life for an explanation oh. as to why that happened. <laughs> I'm only skimming right now, but are people proposing that I talk to imaginary chat members so I can stay focused? Alright. Need one more shot to Magnet. Don't you fucking dare! <sighs> Alright. Alright. Get over there. No! Okay, well, somehow I shot Gab, and I will never understand how. Head for the mix master! I'm ready to fucking die when this comes out. Oh. Alright, do I even take the shot for Reflex 2 here or just... Alright, I'll try it. Fuck. No! I know. I promise I know. Head for the mix master. <laughs> They're worried I forgot what the fucking objective of the game is. <laughs> Head for the mix master. All right. 
<laughs> Catch the ray! Catch the ray! Nice! Got it in one. Holy shit! All right, it's just it's just a one shot for Gazillion. Wait, where did that switch hit come from? Okay. <laughs> what? Why can't I suddenly hit this now? Oh, please. Please behave! No, 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 no. I like the way it was before. Please behave. Fuck. Alright. Reflex is ready. Oh, special is available, but, uh... I think that will literally just give me a credit. It's not configured to give points. Fucking stay where you are. Uh, 1.6 mil for big score, okay. All right. That was an appropriately timed call out. Doctor Dude! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, it was literally 1990 even. It's deranged. All right. I feel like you must be able to get, like, 10 mil from Gazillion. Like, I, I fucking fell out of there after, like, two switch hits. The premise of the table, right, is that Dr. Dude used to be a dweeb, but developed a machine to inject himself with fucking concentrated Sigma male. And now you too can become a cool dude. I feel like there's TV show premise there. Magnet? Right, no, Magnet's done. Uh, post transfer for Gab? Okay, maybe that's scary. Hey, how you doing? Okay, so that gives you a hit to. One of the features, but not like Catch it doesn't light it fully. Whoa. All right, so now I'm reset back down to plain dude. So I claimed the jackpot at super dude. I should just be letting those roll over or trying to trap them. I don't want to take any shots from the left flipper during this. I fucking died. Yeah, we're back on dude. Cal's here, I had to put in at least a couple credits. Hey, okay. 
save. I'll go up there. Yeah, it's like the lights on the mix master will tell you whether the feature's finished, and then the lights on the shot will tell you how many more shots you have. Yeah? The game didn't even believe it, it had to fucking check. Is that...? Do you guys hear a pinball rolling? Very interesting. <laughs> it's just doing fucking circles in the ball trough, I guess. Hey, Mark. I don't think most VPX creators are quite on the level of, like, emulate the fan noises, considering these are usually installed in cabinets which have their own cooling issues. Alright, well... Awesome. You're a major dude! Slam the machine, it'll go away. I mean, there is a button to hit that you can slam with, right? Oh, it's, it happened again. I know there's, uh, you can hit scroll lock to slam, uh, fucking Williams DMD machines, and I know that there's, like, a key for an unreasonably hard nudge that should give you, like, seven warnings in every game. What occasion did you have to slam a machine, Cal? <laughs> the fuck? Seb, don't fucking yan at me, the fuck? I don't get paid enough for that. <laughs> Dunk! Alright, so because all of these fucking windows are named the same thing, I have to grab the capture again. There we go. Whoa! All right, one shot to heart, one shot to magnet, one shot into the fucking cursed bumpers of hell. Two shots into the cursed bumpers of hell. Watch him be amazed as I miss Gab a hundred times. Somehow, reflex is already done. Turn could very easily have been very bad. Gonna yan at AJ during case. <laughs> Don't I fucking put up with enough during December sleep mode? You don't think I might deserve some compassion and kindness? I don't know, I did make you guys play L Sword though. Never mind. Go ahead. Mystery has been very kind to me recently. Okay, so I might be able to alley pass if I had any inclination to do that. So, like... There are switches on the in lanes. There are rollovers there. I don't know if they actually do anything other than making that noise, though. Oh, don't you dare! Thanks. <laughs> Call this tech thing. God. Oh. 
What could that an, what could that be an acronym for? N for neutral. I'm stuck on Y. Neutral your ass. Message received. Why did I even make that shot? Where was I trying to go? Negative Yedge action. <laughs> Negative Yedge is... That's just really appealing to me for whatever reason. Oh. Watch and be amazed as I fail to hit Gab for the entire game! Crazy. It's a nice feeling to be slowly getting better at pinball. Like, being able to reliably hit replay is some sort of rage is, like, kind of a point of pride for me now. But, like, I still feel like that game rolls me all the time. Because my best is something like 150 mil, and I'm lucky to crack 20. The edge is similar to Jedge, that's why you like it. Oh, yeah. That's fucking... It's like European Jedge. should ask Haley how to say Jedge in Italian. I know Seb is here, and they could provide a definitive answer. But, uh... Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. Jedge is one of my yes. Wow, chat got incredibly bad, like, faster than I ever thought possible. Alright. Nobody's allowed to talk about cat girls anymore. That's just the way it has to be. Gag. My life was dry, life was drab. Till I acquired the gift of gab. Oh! Never be real, the gift of gab. I'm Dr. Jim! I don't remember that part of the lyrics. Dr. Doom would think hat girls are based. I turned myself into a cool dude. You can turn yourself into a cat. Fuck it. Alright, so someday I will shoot the fucking magnet. There we go. So I can roll over so I can. Alright. Hey, whatever you do, don't fucking freak out and, like, bang straight off the right post of the Mix Maxter directly into hell. Reverse psychology works every fucking time. Oh. That was not quite settled enough. Oh no. Please. Please behave. Dr. Dude is only concerned with dudes, is that what we're proposing? I don't know if I trust the opinion of Dr. Dude, he seems like the kind of person who drops slurs like they're commas. I mean, were you even listening to Gift of Gab? Always be excellent, never be rude. Those, those are words to live by, IMO. I'd say slurs are pretty fucking rude. I don't believe the dude would approve. Get up there. There we go. Oh my god. 
It's stuck! It's stuck between the peg and the mix master in the wall! Oh no. Don't serve me those both at once on the opposite flippers, please. That was... How did that have no power behind it? Bang! What the fuck just happened? Made a cat dude in the style of those 80s metal rocker cat girls. I will answer your fucking question with... LION MAN! <laughs> fucking, there you go. That's all you need. Hey, baby, can I buy you a couple of Just really working as a group to make the hobby as bad as possible. I appreciate everyone here. <laughs> the real reason I haven't paid for a 14 sub yet is because I refuse to be tempted into self-actualizing as a catboy. Even if you can wiggle your ears in joy. Have you considered that? Whoa! Thankfully I did not end up self-actualizing, but I did get a crippling fishing addiction. Excellent. I don't know, if, if FF14 gets the machine race, then I'm fucking done and we can all pack it up. Given the uh, current direction of the post-expansion plot, I have my opinions about what they're going to introduce next. If... Are they ever going to do new races again, actually, after fucking Viera and Hrothgar are, like, the way they are? Make sure to put in a single credit and just sit there. Trust. That I've seen. <laughs> the fucking two for three deals are like... Alright, so... Sitting there in an empty arcade with no fucking noise anywhere else, and this noise just endlessly plays this fucking copy. God. I got fucking roosted by a Terote Connect the other day, because, like, all the uh, pinball machines in our uh, arcade are set to uh, one swipe for one credit, two swipes for three credits. And so, like, usually when we fucking roll up to Black Knight, because it's the first fucking thing in your eyeline the moment we uh, come in from the fucking parking lot. Fucking swipe four times on Black Knight for six credits, play usually four games because we had a couple replays, and then just fucking hit the arcade, hit the uh, rest of the arcade. But Frog tells me, oh, Terote has a deal where they'll give you extra CP or whatever for spending three credits at once. And in my brain, it's like that. Here's how it actually works, right? A standard single player credit of uh, Terote Connect gives you 90 CP, and it's 30 CP per song. And if you, like, leave early or whatever, your bonus CP gets converted into, like, extra rewards the next time you play. So, three songs for one credit. If you spend three credits at once, they give you 320 CP, which is enough for one extra song and 20 bonus CP that can get converted into a ticket. Now here's the kicker, right? If you are playing co-op Terote Connect, it gives you three songs per credit, but it gives you an extra stage. If you and your partner perform well enough, you get to play a fourth song. Both of you pick two songs at the start, it selects three of them, and then if you fucking do well enough, it gives you your fourth. So me and Frey go to swipe six times on Terote Connect and go to fucking single player and realize about it's song four. Oh my god, we got scammed out of two extra songs and we're not even fucking competing. 
but I guess I have 1.7x extra coins on my first song of the session next time I go back. Wow. And yeah, the uh, cosmetics, I literally don't understand how you're ever supposed, hey, supposed to you afford them. <laughs> I've probably spent like... I don't know, but between the two of us, we've probably spent like uh, 20 or $30 on Terote. And like, both me and Frey are maybe one five hundredth of the way to any cosmetic. Any single cosmetic. What the hell is Terote Connect? It is Gorilla Handholding Simulator Osu Edition. I actually really like it as a game. But it is very strange. Harambe Osu. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, it's 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 cringe Kino. Cringe Kino is a fair way of describing it. I had so much time to do something about that. Whoa! Whoa. I feel like it's been extra every time. I have never completed Reflex 1, 2, 3. I actually haven't even completed Reflex 2. <laughs> straight to uh, Ray because it spotted me the last target in uh, Mixmaster. Alright. Easy touch. It's just crazy. Multiball starts and then it's over. I've been looking for more pinball machines around us as well. I went to Pinball Map and it's like... There's a couple barcade type places, all with uh, reviews like, If you care about the quality of machines, never come here. I wanted to take me to a fucking pinball museum that has, like, died to COVID in between us learning of it and us being close enough to it to go there. Yeah, 35 minutes really is, like... You can make a whole day of being there, so an hour travel is, like, really not that bad. chat. I remember a fucking Frosty Fostings fucking Will Frey and I just fucking Ubered to round one. We like just left the venue completely because we weren't really there with anyone and just spent the entire fucking event like playing Waka. Also, I'm... The next time I go to a tournament, I'm not going to make the mistake of fucking booking the off-site hotel. It just makes everything so fucking irritating. I'm done. Stop looking at chat. No.
How many fucking put credits did I put in on this thing? I swear I was gonna play fucking Jackpot. Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. Everyone should go to Combo Breaker next year because I want to go to that one. Fucking Hitbox Dimension Crew had a great time at CEO Taku uh, a couple years back. And I'd like to return. I know I've heard some stuff about, like, the way the event is run that is, like, a little dodgy regarding the fucking Chaos Code stuff. And also Florida just not being a stellar location. But my individual experience at an event several years ago was quite good. Had a good time at Frosty. It was, like, clearly kind of a rough event to be at because, like... People were just behaving super irresponsibly. I went to uh, Frosty Fostings, like... What was it? Literally weeks after fucking weed had been legalized in uh, Illinois. And the venue was selling alcohol. So things went about as well as you'd expect on a day-to-day -day basis. Fucking event staff or troopers. I still had a lot of fun. It's just that it was a little wild. Emigo has been banned from future CEO events and publicly disowned by FK Digital again. Cool. Okay, seriously, did I stick the mystery award or what? Hey, mix it up! Catch the ray! Catch the ray! Dude, I'm having fucking Chuck E. Cheese memories suddenly, people talking about, like, machines abused by eight-year-olds. Any spider-stomping gamers in chat? Extra ball will just randomly light in the second or third ball from time to time, and I'm not entirely sure how it could, it could be consistent. Oh, actually, I, uh... I had a theory about this, and maybe I can check the operator menu after this credit to see whether it's a listed feature. I believe it will spot you extra ball on your third ball if you brick balls one and two. I got two balls into Gab, that is... It really kicked one of them directly into the out lane. Hey, Fucking awesome! Broken plastic caps in the center one never fucking worked. Maybe I was dumb as a kid, but my location had a pretty well maintained spider stomping, if I can say so myself. being a parent seems horrifying is that like the true horror of Chuck E. Cheese only reveals itself to you once you are no longer a kid and like I think it sucks there is not like always an acceptable reason to tell your kid they can't go <laughs> But I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. You think you do, but you don't. It's other parents that are scary at arcades. Dude, the number of times that I've seen people at our local uh, fucking round one, like... You just see parents with, like, four kids just staring at them while they, like, repeatedly dropkick a basketball machine for no clear reason. <laughs> Pump it up and its consequences and how people watch kids at Dave & Buster's have been disastrous for the dance game community. Yeah, fucking... The way people brutalize fucking... You know, maybe that's why fucking Konami wanted to put a bunch into Dance Around. There are no parts for children to break, right? Hey, 
DDR DP18 player that punted a kid by accident and did not get love from the police. Oh my god. That is so awful. What the fuck? Yeah, it's like... And there's, like... What's your counterplay to that as the adult? <laughs> Any child comes within 10 meters of the machine and you just have to fucking sit down? Saw a kid slamming repeatedly against the DDR handrail until it bent backwards a bit. Fucking kids like literally hanging on the fucking bar like it's a jungle gym. And like swinging around. Alright, let me see if I can fucking. Alright, music test. Alright, audits. Adjustments. Let me fucking go backwards really quickly. Replays. Oh. Special awards. Wow, match set at 10%. Wow. Fucking surprising. High scores. High score war warnings. High score reset every 3,000 plays. Ha. Huh. Free play. Payment settings, replay booster, contest game. This one's kind of funny. What exactly about fucking Dr. Dude needs to be watered down to be family friendly? Couple different memory settings, spot ingredients, the pre lights at the start of a game, jackpots, fucking mystery difficulty. Specials per game disabled, extra balls per game, 25%. Attract mode sounds off, huh, okay. Consolation ball time, there we go. So probably if you've been playing for less than 45 seconds by ball three, it just spots you uh, extra ball. Makes sense. <laughs> One more credit. Yeah, it's like parents don't fucking care what their kid is doing in an arcade. It's just video games. Who the fuck cares, right? <laughs> Alright, I fucking died. It's like, the attitude that every professional establishment in the entire world is also responsible for, like, hey, child hey. care by proxy bothers me. Hey, how you doing? Bonjour. I realize it's not easy to go places with kids, but, like, you have a responsibility to the location you're at to not, like, bring completely unshackled hell gremlins. <laughs> into the vicinity of the fucking establishment and then do nothing about them ever. My life was gone. My life was drab. Okay, mix it up. Head for the mix master. Catch the ray. Kid got lost at round one a while back and returned to their parents three times in a single night. Dude. Get a gazillion! Head for the mix master. Oh, fucking oh. fuck! I had some decent success when I got the uh, balls cradled and separated. Pinball terminology. So I wanted to go for that again, but... Man, stuff just slips under the raised flipper. Night, Seb. Thanks for dropping by. Hey, baby, can I buy a couple of
kids are learning how to be people, that also implies a responsibility to teach them that. Yeah. It's like, just... It's like, kids... Kids aren't dumb. Like, they are dumb. They're, they're so, so fucking dumb. But they're not, like, dumb. You know? This makes sense. Very good. Like you, you, there's an establishment you can take your children to if you want them to be cared for during the day. I know it may surprise you to figure out that the name of this establishment is a daycare. Oh. Fucking fuck. Yeah, it's like kids, it, they don't not know how to think about things. They just don't know anything. You present them with information and they can usually do things with it. Like, okay, there's that awkward developmental period between, like, gaining some degree of agency as a human being and, like, learning that other people are also human beings. That part's rough. But, like, after that rough patch, for the most part, you can just be like, hey, here's what's going down, and here's why I'd like, it to, like you to make this decision. And a good amount of the time, it will just work. All right. We are done with dude. I will be right back, and after that, I will set up Jackbot. Take it easy. They all got super activated and tried to eat fucking bu
All right, we have an interesting opportunity, which is uh, this POV fucking sucks. Also, apparently I managed to fucking hit a uh, LUT trigger at some point. Cool. So because this POV fucking sucks, also I have to fucking turn on the DMD again and pray for it to hook. Because this POV sucks, I get to open this thing up in live camera edit mode and see if I can make it not suck. I assume it just shipped with the POV for a desktop and doesn't actually have a full screen POV, but it's rotated correctly, so. Yeah, camera, 270 rotation, very low field of view, interesting. Okay, well. Let's go to interactive edit and see what the fuck we can do. Please launch. Motherfucker, it crashed. Okay. I get a batch file to do all the uh, monitor rotation stuff and everything, but... Still a bit of a pain. It's pretty late. Everybody just fucking chilling. All right, let's see. So as far as I can tell, there's not really any actual like science to this. Well, there's some, but not a lot. Oh. This is probably fine, I just need to make sure. Y offset minus 0.2. Oh man, do I hate having to adjust this with analog triggers. What the fuck is wrong with me? Come on. It's gonna bother me if I know it's off. There. Got it. Fucking killing it out here. I think that looks relatively reasonable. It is lower than the kind of FOV I would set on something that I did raw myself. But I am willing to investigate this author's preferences. Now it's gonna crash. Woo! All right, so one more time, open VPX clean, because it doesn't like opening more than one table per launch, even though it explicitly supports this as a feature. And once I get the table actually set up, I need to pop open the coin door, change the volume, then that's probably it. Oh, hey, now I can actually see the LUTs. That's crazy. <sighs> Fucking Skyrim ENB type beat. Something a little bit brighter, sure. All right. Coin door open. I think that's about as loud as it's gonna get. So close the coin door again. Welcome to the casino. Holy shit, is that a fucking plunger? Gotcha! Alright, this game isn't old, so it has a ball saver. <laughs> well, it is old, but it's not old, old. You know what's going on. I am a card. Alright, well, 
box ready. So probably bomb it up the left side. I have no idea what I'm doing. We're gonna figure it out together. Hey AJ, what kind of fries do you give to someone who hasn't moved a muscle in a year? Atrophy. <laughs> that sucks. That is fucking rancid. Oh, you can backhand that. Alright, we got some kind of cycling casino game light up there. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Two shots straight up the center. Right, there we go. So no need, no need to go around the back. I can just fucking shoot through the eyes like that. And then miss over and over again. for that, or are we just straight back to fucking single ball play? No multi-ball ball save. Alright. It's a hard knock life. So, bang on those targets for a bit. Cool. Nice! Alright, one comes down. Alright, center post. I keep forgetting. Okay, no. There, there's one thing I need to adjust on this fucking machine, then. It is, we are... We are killing fucking buy-in. We are killing it to death right now. Is it in pricing, or... Nope. Cool. All right, all good. Close the coin door, which is a total real thing that makes sense. Those fucking slings are strong. Shoot under ramp, huh? Center post! Remember it, idiot! Practically invisible in this lighting. <laughs> Speak and spell ass, motherfucker. Alrighty, huh? Be a difficult day, I understand. Nice. Oh, okay. I don't understand, but thank you. 
I am so fucking confused. What a rule set. Okay, you don't have to get it too far in there. So that wasn't quite as much of a free rebound as I thought. That better save. Thank you. After two games in a row with pop bumpers that just fucking kill you. Oh, God. All right. What the hell are we doing here? The coin mechanism does not like it when I do that. Does the table allow you to modify it? Uh, depends on what way you mean. The software is kind of take it or leave it in this configuration, but... The actual, like, physical properties of, like, the physical playfield... There's just a straight-up editor for those, though I have absolutely no idea how it is supposed to work. I have never bothered. I took one look at the UI of this fucking program, and I was like, Alright, uh, maybe next time. Last pinball stream I watched, the guy moved a bumper to keep some irritating drains from happening. Yeah, bring up the outlay and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like, play it how you want to, for sure. No, there are some interesting conversations online about, like, uh... Star Trek TNG in particular, which apparently has some famously brutal outlines. And people just get into fights online over whether or not you're a loser for installing fucking extended outlane guides that make them a little safer. Alright. 13 jackpots to Megavisor. Okay. That's a that's a few that's a few jackpots. What the fuck? It would help if I didn't immediately fucking kill every multi-ball that I encounter. Oops. I think the idea behind, like... When, when people, like, knee-jerk against stuff like making, uh, adjusting a table easier, I think the knee-jerk is against, like, hey, if you stuck with it and, like, played through the pain, you'd find a really rewarding experience once you, like, manage to work out how to work around some of the more frustrating aspects. And people are, like, upset by the idea that somebody might be watering that down for themselves and missing out. But, like, be kind on the internet. Dude! <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah. How's the fucking Linux experience, Tone? To I've been thinking of trying dual booting again for a while. I'm like... I wouldn't call my Windows day-to-day -day desktop experience cozy, but it gets the job done. Wow. There's like nothing over there. You gotta fucking slam it.
One of the features that I've seen in uh, commercial uh, software collections that people are actually into is like the idea of practice modes or score attacks. Like Pinball FX will just let you go, unlimited balls for three minutes, good luck, have fun. Oh, okay. Time to gamble. Shoot under ramp for 90 million. Nice. That's pretty hot. Oh, so does that say banked until I cash out? Go for more, huh? The outlines seem pretty mean. Gonna have to keep an eye on those. Alright. I gotta look into the state of audio routing on Linux right now because, like... Oh, come on. Sometimes Windows is very kind to me when it comes to audio matters, and sometimes it is the fucking worst ever. And I've seen some tools for Linux, like Jack, that just seem really nice for a lot of those purposes. Okay. But I've also seen people complain at length about Elsa and Pulse Audio. I would really like this in the correct flipper to make that shot. Nice. Whoa, okay. Oh, okay. What a fucking extra ball noise. Oh, it's in the fucking uh, in lanes and out lanes. Shit. I'm looking for what shot I need to hit, like a jackass. Holy shit, my fucking watch is getting blown up. Okay. Pipe wire sometimes makes it better and sometimes makes it worse. Nice. Alright, so I think the idea is that for maximum dopamine, I actually just bomb it into the game saucer as quickly and as often as possible. Oh shit. Do you want twice the points? Is that a fucking question? Oh shit, I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, it's not backhandable, not really. Alright. Alright, ramp first, huh? Good night into you. Thanks for dropping by. It looks like roll the dice is solid. It's probably something for playing all four. I need to get away from fucking desktop ricing and, like, system customization in general, honestly. At this point, I'm so paranoid about having to rebuild my fucking Windows install that I just want to get used to the way everything is out of the box, you know? 
I want my downtime between, like, drive dies to working again to be, like, five minutes. Hey, Cal, is there a physical button on this machine that I'm missing? Because if there's an extra fucking button, it'll be mapped to one of the Magna saves, but I have to know that it exists. Kitty, semi-transparent window theme, cozy. Seems solid. Oh, is it the buy-in button? Motherfucker, yep. Game saucer starts out lit, and there's no uh, prompt to light game saucer at the ramp, so I assume it does. And only shoot for it, and then just mash the magna saves. Okay, wait, those are LUTs, so maybe the start button? Referenced THX standard. I can't hit anything. Amazing. Very bloomy. You know, this will work. Yeah. Alright, shoot the ramp. No. Try again. Shoot the ramp. Huh? The, ra the lid. Don't go over. The lid. So everything's given out as bonus. So don't fucking till. Double or nothing. Hmm. Yeah, if there's a different button, I don't know. Maybe this is rule sheet time. Or I check the fucking red on this recreation. Because it doesn't count down while the balls in the fucking pops, thankfully. It's way too early. Nice! Alright, let me see here. fucking exclusive full screens, so my cursor is invisible, which is great. Alright, there is a dedicated buy-in button that I did not bind. Which means I have to figure out where I want to bind it. Is X unused? Oh, great, it's not showing me what fucking button this actually is. <sighs> Alright, you know what? Fuck it, we're doing it as a keyboard key. Just gonna add that to the anti-micro profile and get on with my fucking life. I didn't know VPX actually had a dedicated bind for, uh, bind button. Alright. 
Okay, Google, how do I tab back into the game? Trick question, you have to close the settings dialog. I wonder how I was supposed to cash that in. Night, Tone. Take it easy. Time to go walk the pups. Or that. Alright, it's not that late in Australia. Shit. I don't know what time it is in my own place. So that's not me misunderstanding time offsets. That's just me not knowing what time it is at all. What the fuck is that spin? Huh? Got it. I wonder if I did find the right button. I guess I probably have to shoot the game saucer eventually to figure out, huh? Insane that I can backhand that ramp and it actually makes it around. I wonder if Mega Ramp is time limited. through, because I thought it would actually bounce. Someday I will hit the fucking saucer, but instead, I'm just gonna bomb it into the ramp a hundred times. Come on. Come on. Alright, got that. The saucer. The saucer. The saucer. No? Glit. Repay, replay it 3.8 billion. All right. Not happening this game. I need to change my knocker sound to be, like, at least 10,000 times louder. What the fuck was that? Clearly I'm getting tired. Truly terrifying stuff. Well, nice of you to give that out just before you fucking bomb it into the outlay. At this point, I just want to make sure I know how to cheat. 
Jam. I'm good after that. I wonder if disabling buy and disables that button. That would make no sense though if it's actually like tied to real software features. And this layout is like legitimately tough. Uh oh. Big fan of how that hit a sling and then just went absolutely fucking nowhere. I'd be fine with the game saucer, I'd be fine with starting multi ball. Uh. Well, it certainly doesn't seem to be doing anything when I match extra ball, so... Not sure... Tap the extra ball button while starting... Da -da -da -da. So there's apparently a queue in the attract mode that will let me know whether this even fucking works. After it's done telling me I can press start. Perhaps. It is not working. Damn, that is crazy. So let me take a second look at... It does say two is the fucking buy-in button. Do I completely misunderstand this? <sighs> Shit. I am now scrolling comments on the fucking script. Did it really hit you with the say no to drugs? Hell yeah. Man, and Windows won't even tell me what the fucking buttons on my controller are numbered. I think this is the most unhelpful fucking controller test screen ever. Will anti-micro tell me? Okay, anti-micro says it's button 3 for X. I can do that. Configure keys, nudge, DOF, EB buy-in... I have to guess where my mouse is because it's not visible in full screen mode. Holy shit, dude. All right, so it is now bound both as a gamepad button and as a keyboard key. So I'm waiting for attract mode to cycle around to the thing that tells me whether the fucking button works.
La la la. Drum roll, please. No? Maybe restart the table? I'm about to actually open the script and see what fucking button this thing is listening for. I'm actually going to do that. I'm so fucking dumb. I'm sure this is going to turn out to be incredibly straightforward. There's a constant here called ball mass, and I read it as ball ass immediately. Big fan of that. Wait a minute. It is right, Magna Save? That doesn't make any fucking sense, though. What? But right, Magna Save was fucking switching LUTs, am I on crack? Do I have two buttons set to left, Magna Save? No, because right Magna Save works in fucking Black Knight, so. Alright, it crashed on me again. Oh, damn it. I want to get this working once and then I'm done. <laughs> I've had enough. My brain is becoming smooth like a stone in the river. I promise VPX is easy to set up, though. Why is everyone so mean to me? <laughs> okay, right Magna save switches LUTs. So there's no fucking way But I bound the fucking extra ball button. I don't know what you want. Wait a minute. Okay, now I don't know whether that worked because I hit the fucking Magna save. Or... Yeah, because that, that crawl is supposed to be there. Do I really have to turn off the fucking Magna save cycling to use the button? Okay, fine. I'm gonna go for the fucking saucer. And I'm gonna spam fucking LUT change. I'll try it with the normal button though, just in case. Maybe it really did just need a fucking restart. I don't think I'm gonna get away with backhanding that shot though. I'm feeling very smooth indeed right now. <laughs> it helps that I just can't hit the shot. 
That's what elevates this to comedy for me, is that I just want to test the fucking thing. And I can't even hit the shot I want to test. Then it wasn't that important. I think I made like zero shots that a whole ball. hear anything while I was matching extra ball there. So my next shot to the saucer, I'm gonna fucking mash Magna save and see if anything fucking crazy happens. Please save. Thank you. You all know the shot that I want. You all know why I want it, hopefully. But the smoothening continues. Alright, go next. Thank you. That's something I really, really like about, uh... The software here. Basically, every Williams game will just let you hold start at any time, even during a game to start a new game. Skipping whatever the fuck else is going on. I try not to abuse it too much, because I don't want to fucking just get caught in a reset grind about what should be, like, a fun and relaxing experience. But right now, I'm glad to have it. That shot is so hard, what the fuck? Pinbot, they're beating your ass on the quote retweets. Those outlands are fucking mean. I feel like that shot was designed as something that just serendipitously happens to you. Oh. Go next! Oh, I'm out of credits, I think. And of course you need to wait for locked balls to drain, because the game can't start like that. Glad you're all here with me on this incredibly unimportant journey for me to hit a single shot and hit a single button. So very lenient ball save. I guess it counts total time the ball was actually in play, which doesn't include the uh, pop bumpers. Table name Jackbot. Okay, there it is. So the right Magna Save button is the cheat button. But as you can see, right Magna Save is also configured to switch LUTs, and I don't understand why it's like this. So I have to fucking disable the ability to switch LUTs from inside the script. 
so that I can use this. What the fuck? Never in a million years. All right. Change LUT settings lines 269 to 301 according to the comments on VP Universe. So let's open the script editor. If key code equals write magna save, then LUT set equals LUT set plus one. How about this? If false. Fuck them kids. Can I finally cheat at casino games? After VPX is done crashing? Just sandpaper on my brain right now. That smooth. All right. Jackbot Williams 1995. And now, if I hit right magna save, nothing fucking happens. I'm the demon. But if I shoot the game saucer, and this is the important part, because as we all know, I can't fucking hit shots. I'm gonna turn this off. Nice. Save, please. Thank you. <laughs> I made like one quarter of one shot. There we go. Cheating works. I can now cheat at casino games. So happy to hit that, I almost fucking missed it coming back. Now I can cheat and play the game as intended. Literally. Oh man, I remember that fucking convert. Keeg linked a fucking video on, uh... It's like a survival guide for Battle Gorega the other day. And the comments are just full of people saying, Ah, but you used the C button hitbox cheat that was intentionally designed into the game. Everyone knows you're a fraud. After all, Gorega was designed to be impossible. And all your footage is illegitimate. Arcade boomers are fucking crazy, dude. Ah, fucking behave! Next time I'm in that situation, I'm just gonna fucking tilt the machine, no fear. I don't know how fucking Kino works. <laughs> Is Neon White cringe Kino? I feel like cringe Kino is a synthesis of cringe and Kino, not just cringe and Kino existing within the same space. Alright. I got fucking mulched. Oh. 
Supposedly you can cheat during the uh, bonus countdown if you have any bonus multipliers and get the table to hand you an extra one. <laughs> That's fucking great! <laughs> Motherfucker has an ace compartment in his arm! That fucking rules. I don't know if cheating at Kino does anything. This is why robots shouldn't be allowed at Casino. What are you talking about? I'm an honest gambler. You gotta pay up. Honor your side. Wow, cheating is fucking broken. Is that the fucking Mortal Kombat noise? I swear. I realized that the Mortal Kombat noise could refer to a couple different things, but hopefully you get the idea. I definitely didn't have a multiplier there either. Nice! Hey. <laughs> that wasn't even robot-specific cheating, the motherfucker just went thump! Alright. Alright, so Casino Run is lit. At the saucer. Can I stack it with multi-ball, you think? Well, it looks like it's not currently lit, so... Should probably try to focus on getting control of both of these. What shots does it want from me? Well, there's one. It's not a relock phase or anything. Okay, so you relight every shot at the game saucer. Interesting. I wonder if there's a limit on how often you can cheat. No multiplier there, but I did get the uh, noise. Ah! But what is Casino Run? I've gotta know. Alright. You got me. Now I'm hooked. Yeah, that noise with the fucking inlane rollover. I swear that's like the fucking Mortal Kombat teleport noise. So maybe there's not always an opportunity to cheat. Get on the other flipper! What the fuck? What did I just do? Oh, no. Psh. 
Alright, and what's the fucking deal with, uh, hit me anyway? Okay. 50 million for doing nothing. All good. I don't really know how to feel about that one. Oh, the fucking ball was still captive up there. So I just ran into it. Whoops. Shoot any hold from Wookie Ball. Alright. So there is a restart. Nice. Interesting. I really didn't make it? Yikes. Alright. Got 2x bonus, gotta make a note of that. That's a very lenient fucking window. Alright. shooting for at the moment, so... <laughs> yeah, I definitely didn't have 3x either. Getting crazy spin on that other fucking uh, vortex. Is hit me all the way back there? Yeah, it's behind the fucking uh, vortex status lights. Alright, I'm playing like fucking dog water right now. So I'll play one more and then call it a night. I'm kind of into the giant fuck around pinball streams lately though. I'll probably try to finish off the rest of Neon White if my estimation of how long the game is is anywhere near accurate. Uh, tomorrow. Time and life circumstances permitting. I am excited to finish it. I just have a lot of fucking feelings about it. Double or nothing is the only way to be, right? Oh shit. I'm not gonna have time. Gotta do it on the fly. Don't sound so disappointed. It's uncanny how I can fucking bomb it into those orange posts every single time. Clean, actually. I wonder if progress to Megavisor has a uh, memory, dude. 
I just outright rejected that, huh? I guess because the wall hasn't come up yet, and it's supposed to after you uh, drain it on multi ball. And then it immediately comes back up again. Or uh, lowers, I guess. Oh, don't you fucking dare. Mega bastard. Hitting that skill shot a little more consistently. <laughs> it's cruel, I tell you. Nearly four billion just for a replay. To say nothing of the high score table, huh? I mean, it's not that far off. Just need like a good multi ball or two. Interesting. So it's a three ball multi ball this time. Huh. I just completely no sold. Flipper that cycles casino games. Huh. I wonder if there's any particular benefit to playing them in a given order. Dude, every single time I think it's going straight down the in lane, the hand of God just picks it up and slides it over. It's uncanny. All right, I think I've had enough for today. <clears throat> Appreciate y'all coming along. Wow, it's actually midnight over here, which means it must be fucking ass o'clock on the East Coast and beyond. So, uh, for the North Americans in the room, get your rest. For the Australians in the room, I wish you a pleasant evening. For everybody else, I wish I understood how your time offsets work. Good night!